hello out there welcome to this tutorial on sorts in this video we'll be looking at equations in irrational form or radical equations so we start with the first problem problem one solve each of the following radical equations a root x is equal to 4 b root x plus 1 is equal to 6 c 2 root x minus 1 is equal to 2 and d 2 root x is equal to root x minus 7 so we start the solution from a so for a we have square root of x on the left hand side and 4 on the right hand side in order to remove this square root we need to square both sides so we have square root of x squared is equal to 4 squared so square root of x all squared will give us x and 4 squared is equal to 16 so we are done with a so in this case if you substitute x is equal to 16 and it will give you square root of 16 to be 4 and here we are only interested in the positive value of the root so we go to b part of the problem square root of x plus 1 is equal to 6 so we are taking this 1 to the right hand side so we are left with root x is equal to 6 minus 1 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 so we have root x is equal to 5 so we have transformed it to this we now square both sides root x squared is equal to 5 squared and again x is equal to 25 since square root of x squared is x and 5 squared is 25 so we go to c for c we have to root x minus 1 is equal to 2 um, again we are taking this 1 to the right hand side so on the left hand side we will be left with 2 root x is equal to 2 plus 1 negative 1 going to the right hand side becomes positive 1 so we have 2 root x is equal to 3 so I square both sides so that will give us 2 root x squared is equal to 3 squared so 2 squared is 4 root x squared is x which is equal to 9 and I divide both sides by 4 so that x is equal to 9 over 4 then I go to D for D I have 2 root x is equal to root x minus 7 so I collect the irrational part to the left hand side I have 2 root x minus root x since root x is positive here coming to the left hand side it becomes minus root x which is equal to negative 7 2 root x minus root x gives root x is equal to negative 7 so whatever we are going to have as x it means we are only interested in the negative value of the root we square both sides root x squared is equal to negative 7 squared root x squared is equal to x and negative 7 squared gives 49 so here square root of 49 we are only interested in the negative value so negative 7 times 2 will give us negative 14 and here negative 7 minus 7 will give us negative 14 and uh, that is the end of solution to problem one we go to problem two for problem two solve each of the following radical equations a square root of x minus 2 is equal to 3 b square root of 3x plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 7 and c 3 root x plus 2 minus 7 is equal to 2 and uh, we start the solution to the problem from a square root of x minus 2 is equal to 3 
Again, we are going to remove the square root by squaring both sides. So we have square root of x minus 2 all squared is equal to 3 squared. So this square root will go with this square. We are left with x minus 2 is equal to 9. So we'll be taking negative 2 to the right hand side. So that we now have x is equal to 9 plus 2. Where x is equal to 11. Then we go to B part of the problem. Square root of 3x plus 4. Plus 2 is equal to 7. Here this is irrational part. On the left hand side we move it to the right hand side. To join the rational part. So we'll be left with root 3x plus 4 is equal to 7 minus 2. So we have it as root 3x plus 4 is equal to 5. We then square both sides. Squaring both sides, we are going to have it as root 3x plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. So the root here, we cancel the square, we'll be left with 3x plus 4 is equal to 25. Taking this 4 to the right hand side, I have 3x is equal to 25 minus 4, where 3x is equal to 21. We then divide both sides by 3. 3x divided by 3 gives x, and 21 divided by 3 gives 7. We go to C. For C, we have 3 root x plus 2 minus x is equal to 2. And we are taking this negative x to the right hand side. 3 root x plus 2 on the left hand side is equal to 2 plus x. Since the negative x from here will become positive x on the right hand side. We go ahead to square both sides. That will give us 3 root x plus 2 squared is equal to 2 plus x squared. So here 3 squared is 9. Root x plus 2 squared will give us x plus 2 is equal to, expanding this, we have x squared plus 4x plus 4, and that is it. Is to expand this, so we have 9x plus 18 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. We are going to form a quadratic equation from here. If we switch this, so we are going to have x squared plus 4x, then this coming to this side becomes minus 9x, then plus this 4, this 18 coming to this side becomes minus 18 is equal to 0. Simplifying, I have x squared, 4x minus 9x gives negative 5x, and 4 minus 18 gives negative 14 is equal to 0. So factorizing this, I have x here, x here, and two factors of negative 14, whose sum will give us negative 5, uh, negative 7, and positive 2. So we have the minus 7 and plus 2 here, which means x is equal to 7 or x is equal to negative 2. If you put x is equal to 7, we are going to have it as 7 plus 2, which is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Then 9 minus 7 gives 2. So the value for x equal to 7 is correct. In the same way, if you put x is equal to negative 2, negative 2 plus 2 gives 0. Square root of 0 is 0 times 3. This is gone. Negative, negative 2 gives positive 2. So both values are correct and that is the end of solution to problem two we go to problem three for problem three solve these equations a root x squared plus 13 is equal to 7 b root 2x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 2 so we start the solution from a and straight away we are going to square both sides so we have root x squared plus 13 squared is equal to 7 squared. And here we'll be left with x squared plus 13 is equal to 49. Taking this to the right hand side, x squared is equal to 49 minus 13. 
So we now have x squared is equal to 36. x is square root of 36. And here we are going to consider both the positive and the negative roots of 36, which is plus or minus 6. And that is the end of solution to problem 3a. We go to 3b. For 3b, we have to collect the rational part to the right hand side and the irrational part to the left hand side. So we are moving this positive one to the right hand side, which will become negative one. So we have root 2x squared minus x is equal to 2 minus 1. And uh, straight away we can square both sides. So squaring both sides, I have 2x squared minus x all squared is equal to 1 squared since 2 minus 1 is 1. Now here on the left hand side we'll be left with 2x squared minus x is equal to 1 and take this to this side we have 2x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here we factorize so the factors are x minus 1 into 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 and which means x is equal to 1 or x is equal to negative 1 over 2 and you see if you put x is equal to 1 here we have 2 minus 1 which will give us 1 square root of 1 is 1 plus this 1 will give us 2 and also if you put x is equal to negative 1 over 2 negative 1 over 2 squared will give us a 1 over 4 multiplied by 2 will give us 1 over 2 minus negative 1 over 2 will give us plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 will give us 1 square root of 1 will still give us 1 plus 1 we have 2 so the two values are valid for the solution of problem 3b so we now go to problem 4 for problem 4 solve a root x plus 5 minus root x is equal to 1 b root x plus 15 plus root x plus 6 is equal to 9 um we have the option of squaring both sides directly and we have the option of taking this to this side so i'm going to use the two methods to solve the two problems in problem four so starting with a here i'm going to take this to the right hand side i have root x plus five is equal to one plus root x since this is minus getting to the right hand side it becomes plus so squaring both sides i have root x plus 5 squared is equal to 1 plus root x squared the left hand side becomes x plus 5 is equal to we expand this in our expansion we have it as 1 plus root x into 1 plus root x we use this first term in the first bracket to multiply everything inside the second bracket so 1 times 1 gives 1 1 times root x gives root x. Then we now use the second term in the first bracket to multiply everything inside the second bracket. So we have root x times 1 gives root x. Root x times root x gives x. So from here we simplify this like sort. So we will now have this as 1 plus 2 root x since root x plus root x gives 2 root x then plus x so we collect the like terms so i have 2 root x okay this is plus x then this coming to this side becomes minus x we have 5 equal to 5 minus 1 so we have 2 root x is equal to 4 what happened to the x so plus x minus x is 0 and that's all we divide both sides by 2, so we'll be left with root x is equal to 2. Squaring both sides, we have x is equal to 4. And that's the end of solution to problem 4a. We go to 4b. For 4b, we have root x plus 15 plus root x plus 6 is equal to 9. 
This time around, I'm not taking this to the right hand side. I want to square both sides directly. Unlike here, I told you it is also possible to square both sides. But in this case, it is easier to take this to the right hand side. But in this case, it is easier to leave it like this, square both sides. So we now have it as root x plus 15 plus root x plus 6 all squared is equal to 9 squared. So we are going to expand this. So we have it this times this. We are multiplying it by itself. So we now see root x plus 15 times root x plus 15 will give us x plus 15. Root x plus 15 again multiplied by root x plus 6 will give us root x plus 15 into root x plus 6. We now use this root x plus 6 to multiply everything inside the second bracket. If you now have root x plus 6 multiplied by root x plus 15, it will give you this again. And adding them is just like multiplying this by 2. So we just multiply it by 2 here to take care of that. Then we go ahead, root x plus 6, multiply by root x plus 6. We are going to have 2x since x plus x gives 2x. And 15 plus 6 gives 21. So we have it as plus 21. Then plus 2 root x plus 15 into x plus 6 is equal to 81 since 9 squared is 81 so we leave this irrational part on the left hand side so we have 2 root x plus 15 into x plus 6 is equal to 81 minus 21 minus 2x so these 2x and 21 have been taken to the right hand side so we still have our left hand side is equal to 60 minus 2x. So I want to remove this two by dividing through by two. If I divide through by two, I'll be left with root x plus 15 into root x plus six is equal to 30 minus x. Now we square both sides. If you square this, the square root will go, we will have x plus 15 into x plus six, is equal to 30 minus x all squared. So we now expand. Expanding this, I have x squared plus 21x plus 90 is equal to 900 plus 60x plus x squared. So you can do this expansion by yourself. So with this, we have x squared here, x squared here. This is positive, this is positive on opposite sides. So they will go, we'll be left with 21x, this negative 60x coming to this side becomes positive 60x is equal to 900 minus 90. This is 81x is equal to 810. Dividing both sides by 81, x is equal to 10. And that is the end of solution to problem 4. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and share this video. Don't fail to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on sorts. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until we come your way again, goodbye.